It's not even close to like playoff hockey. I mean, they 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 try. They were desperate, but if these guys think playoff hockey is that, we're in trouble. You guys trying, but some guys were just had a tough time tonight. Is this, tough time. is this? You know, it's been a little bit disturbing. Uh, some of the efforts from some of the guys right now. Hit the panic button, everyone. The Vancouver Canucks lost once again. All right, no, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. It was a joke. Calm down. We did lose today to the Seattle Kraken, making it our fourth straight loss. And I am here to clear the smoke on one thing, alright? We can blame the officiating, or luck, or whatever, all we want in these games. I sure as hell did that in the Minnesota game and the Colorado game. Those are two games that I thought we could have very easily won. But the bottom line is that if the compete level is not there, then there's no point. Don't even bother. And in the game we just witnessed between the Vancouver Canucks and the Seattle Kraken, the Canucks did not deserve to win that game at all. No matter how you put it, no matter how optimistic you want to be about this team, we just flat out didn't deserve it. And that's okay, you know, we're going to have ups and downs. I mean, give this team a little bit of a break. They played well all season being at the top of the league, and this is their first little bit of adversity. But Talk had said it best in his post-game interview. If you want to win games like this down the stretch, you got to have everyone buying in. And there's no sugarcoating it, man. Some players were giving it every shift. But some, on the other hand, just could not be asked to play, didn't look like they wanted the puck, playing on the perimeter, not getting involved in the battles, and that is not going to win you the Stanley Cup. That's the truth. That's just the plain truth. And it's okay, because we have the talent to win the Cup this year. I know it. I believe in this team. They've led the league for 50-odd games in, and they can keep doing that, but with performances like this, it's not going to get it done. I don't want to spend too much time on the game tonight, let's talk about the goals and then we'll move on to Saturday because that is a massive game. Starting it off though with the first period. So heading into this one, the Vancouver Canucks actually changed a couple things up in regards to their lineup. First of all, the power play was different, Heronic was on it, which didn't exactly help it. We'll get into the power play later, but Arshti Baines also gets called out to play in the top six with Brock Besser and JT Miller. And man, the beat goes on for this line as they get themselves on the board once again. JT Miller to open the scoring, and he brings it out in front on Grubauer, puts it glove side, and gives the boys an early 1-0 lead. Brilliant. But then, the Vancouver Canucks have a bit of penalty trouble, they can't clear the zone, and then once the penalty expires, Vince Dunn with a blast from the point gets by Demko, and this was completely our own fault. We had the chance to clear the zone, couldn't do it, scrambled in front, and 15 seconds later, the puck is in the back of our net. It's okay though, 1-1 is the way the period ends, we move on now to the second. Early on in the second period, we have another penalty to kill, and we're completely collapsed at this point. No one is covering McCann, and then of course the puck squirts out to him, he has an open shot, puts it by Demko, and the Kraken in short order are up 2-1 in this hockey game. And listen, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but these early period goals we're giving up cannot keep happening. It's happened on three separate occasions now, and to put it simply, it has to stop. We have to be more dialed in, doesn't matter if it's a power play or not, you have to be ready as soon as the puck gets dropped. But it's okay though, because everyone's favorite bald man is back in the lineup tonight, it's Sam Lafferty, and he ties this game up with a bit of a fortunate deflection, but we'll take it man. It's about time we had some good bounces come our way, and we tie the game up 2-2. Two but then, unfortunately, the Seattle Kraken retake the lead with a shot here from Schultz. Bit of a tough one to give up because it just kind of beats Demko. There was no tip or anything. Bit of a screen, maybe. But other than that, nothing else to it. So 3-2 for the Kraken. And then Jordan Eberle, who loves to feast on the Canucks for some reason, extends that lead 4-2. And just the fact that he got on the end of this is just crazy to me. There was like three Canucks surrounding him. None of them got to the puck before him. He had two chances on goal, buries his own rebound there, and gives the Kraken a 4-2 lead as we head into the third. Unfortunately, there wasn't much of a pushback from the Vancouver Canucks in the third period. We had a couple of underwhelming power play attempts, a couple chances on goal, and then once we pulled our goalie, that was Jordan Eberle's signal to turn on the Jets, he wins a foot race and then puts it in for a second of the game. 5-2 Kraken. This one's over. And now here are my final thoughts. Out of all the last four games we played, all four losses, this is probably the weakest of the four opponents that we've had. That being said, it was also our worst effort. So much so that I felt like we had a fighting chance in all three of the previous games, but this one, for some reason, there just wasn't much 
intention. So it's okay, we go back home now, and I know the boys are going to be upset about this one. We have a huge game against Boston on Saturday. Tockett's going to get the boys right. He knows how to keep them accountable, and they have all the tools in the world. All the skill to take them all the way this year, I know it. But are they going to put in the effort? Are they going to be mentally locked in when it matters the most? We'll see, but what I do know for sure is that Saturday is going to be absolutely wild. Make sure you stay tuned for my post-game thoughts on that. You don't want to miss out. And yeah, man, make sure you like, subscribe if you're new. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace out, and take care.